Why science? <laughs> this why question is, is very important for us because we keep asking ourselves, our friends, our psychologists, our parents, why, 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 everything, why have I done that, why this, why that? And I think it's interesting for us to try to think about why science. I mean, a lot of us are scientists and in the end we get caught in our research, but we forget about the grand picture of everything. Uh, so my name is Nathan. I'm doing my PhD, as uh, Alex said, in the Max Planck Institute for Quantum Physics. I've been working with theoretical astrophysics for roughly two years now. And the, the idiosyncrasy of my research is basically to try to understand uh, why certain particles accelerate or have so, such high speeds in the universe in general, around black holes, around the sun, and these kind of things. And, uh, and the answer is magnetic fields. And then some of you might be asking, Imagine, for instance, look at the sun. If you, if, you, if you take a light bulb and you put your hand close to it, it's going to be warm. But if you go far, it's not going to be that warm. And then you think that in the sun it will be the same. But that's not true. So in the surface of the sun is around five to 6,000 Kelvin degrees. And if you go a little bit further, what we call solar corona, the temperature goes to 7 million degrees. And some of you might be wondering why. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense because in the light bulb it's completely different. It gets colder. And some of you might be asking, why do I need to know that? <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly why I'm here. <laughs> so um, as a kid, I always was interested in science. So I remember when I was 10 years old, my mom gave me this book, The, the Universe in a Nutshell, and I read it. And because I had a little bit of problems to deal with friends and colleagues at the high school and primary school, secondary school in general, I spent a lot of time in the library reading those kind of books. And I realized that it's important to understand how, but we have to think about the why. Those questions, they brought me to close to understand my place in the universe. And if you think about uh, discoveries like the, the Galileo, the discovery that the Earth is not the center of the universe. It, it changed, it shifted the way that we saw ourselves in the universe. Uh, for instance, in evolutionary uh, research, we understand that we're part of a grand process that is the evolutionary process. So we understand that we're just not that important. We're just one other. Imagine how good it would be if some chiefs of state or presidents or prime ministers understood that we are all the same, that we're all here together. Neuroscience research helps us to understand our place within our own minds and relatively helps us to understand that we are not exactly, uh, time is not fixed, it's not rigid, it is flexible. So it helps us to understand our place in space and time itself. So all those things help us to understand a little bit about, more about ourselves and our place in the universe. And as a kid, we're always wondering why. Why this, why that, why there's a thunderstorm, why when I click the button the TV is on, why it's off. And I think that this is the source of the scientific person. We're trying to understand our place in the universe. I remember that as a kid, I would be always talking to my parents, asking about stuff, and until they get annoyed, which happened very often, uh, we would have amazing conversations. We would turn off the TV and I would ask about how, why the cars are going this way, why the rain falls down, and it would help me to understand a little bit more about myself, my place in the universe, my place in society, so it would help me to create uh, an identity. And I remember that my father would get very stressed when I would go on the border of asking why and why and why. And then at some point he said, okay, you have to be a scientist because otherwise I cannot help you anymore. From this point. <laughs> That's why I had so many books in my place, for instance. Uh, so as kids, we're trying to understand our place in society by asking questions, why? And I think that as scientists, I, I, it's fair to assume that a fair amount of us here were scientists or we want to be scientists. Uh, this is the same, it didn't change. We were all born scientists. We were trying to understand our place in society by asking specific questions. And one of the messages that I want you guys to have is that don't forget about that. So there is this, uh, this paradigm, as I say, that the, 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 the need for science is technological progress. We need a better iPhone, we need a faster internet. But this is, is I, think that, I don't think that's the essence of science, and that's what we should focus on. Uh, so next time when someone asks you about wh why do you do science, I mean why do you need to understand the protein to connect with these, or why do you need to understand the particle in the universe that does that, that is, uh, of course, the easy answer to give is that, ah, okay, you have technological progress, you have a better iPhone, you have something faster, but uh, I don't think that that's not answering, that's what the message that I want to pass to you guys right here. I want you to understand that uh, 
uh, just like kids, we're trying as a humankind to understand, to have like a, a humankind sort of identity, to understand our place in society, to understand our place uh, in the universe, our place in the animal kingdom, to understand more about ourselves. And uh, yeah, so next time, you guys are going home right now. Uh, I know that not all of you are scientists, I know that not all of you are, are right here right now, but when you go home, you're going to have a beer with your friends, you're going home to sleep, I want you to think, why did I become a scientist? And for those of you that are not scientists, those of you online, I want you to ask, what happened to the scientists inside of me? And you're going to realize that the answer is going to support me. Thank you very much.